All right, so in this video, um, I'm going to discuss how to add custom markers using Firebase Firestore. So previously, I showed how to use Superbase, but yeah, um, yeah. So I do have a marketplace item, but it hasn't been approved. <laughs> I'm guessing because it's so similar. Um, yeah, I can't really add it to the same project, to like Superbase, because it does an error. But yeah, yeah. Anyways, but here's here's it running right now. So here's the items. Let me zoom in. And so yeah, it's pretty, I use pretty much the same icons and everything, but yeah. So yeah, the first step is to set up Firebase. And so I have the docs here. And then here's a link to um, configure Firestore database. Um, yeah, they look uh, the same. The, pre the preview that Medium gives looks the same, but it's different. So I mean, it's on the same page. It's just um, a different section, but yeah, so. Yeah, and then we're gonna add data to the Firestore database. And so I, I do have latitude and longitude a separate here, um, similarly to how I did on Superbase, but you can use um, geo points, which I'll discuss here as well. So you can use geo point instead of uh, separate, in which that's probably preferred. Someone brought this up um, to me like recently. Yeah, so I also added that here. And the code, it's a small change to the code to get that to work. But yeah, basically, instead of separate latitude and longitude fields, number fields, you just set a geo point field, latitude and longitude, and then in the place schema, instead of having the two doubles, we just have a geo point with lat and long. And this is probably even more precise to, yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, you could do this in Superbase as well. I'm not sure on the client code <laughs> how that would work. I guess it would be the same, but um, yeah, I actually did this in Superbase, but I haven't worked with it on Flutter. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, then you'll create the custom widget. I'll just go to, uh, so you'll create the custom widget and you'll add, it's the same field you'll add on uh, the Superbase one but places, which this is places record. So it's just a type of document and it's a list and document type is place because that's the collection name. And if I didn't show before, so after you add the data to the database, um, yeah, you just go to this Firestore tab. You'll add a new schema um, or this right here, create collection. I thought there was a way to automate it, like super base. I don't remember. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, I have double in here because I just kept, for this video, really, <laughs> I'm going to resubmit it with just GeoPoint. But yeah. Um, yep. And then, so, the custom code. So, if you're using latitude and longitude, um, I gotta show you the code first. So I kind of skipped that part, right? Oh no, I'll discuss. So these are all the fields you'll add. And then, um, okay, yeah, so the last parameter is on click marker. And so you can use this to like, basically it returns place row. You can, I guess, change the code on however you want that to work, but Anytime you click a marker, it will return that place and set it to like the current state of um, like page state or yeah, you can set it to whatever state, but yeah, it's a callback. I'll show you in a minute on that. Then you click this add boilerplate code. So yeah, you want to set up all of this um, first, but there's an easier way to do it of doing this as well. I'll, t I'll show you in a minute, but yeah. And then you also add all of the dependencies and compile it. And then, um, yeah, so this is the one for, I have a note here as well. So this code is the one for um, latitude and longitude separate fields. So if you scroll down, if you want to use the geo point code, um, the only change is this line that I'm 
um, set in the coordinate variable. And I just gave the full code just in case. <laughs> so you don't have to try to find it. Just copy that, whatever. And then yeah, I'll show you how to do the rest of this. But yeah, e an easy way to create this part, I guess, is just to add the super base version. So I'll have it here as well. And then you just change the parameter to here, to places document instead of uh, places row. And that's just the easy way to do that. Because I don't know if that marker place item will get approved or not, but yeah. So, um, yeah, let's go back to uh, Superbase. And the names, I believe the names are the same. If not, just keep it to place. Yeah, I believe I even copied the same name. <laughs> so it should be the same. Yeah. Just place row with Superbase. It's like the default name they give it, I believe. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's what I added. Okay, yeah, yeah. Never. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then so you just drag and drop it. So you'll go to widget palette, go to this diamond or whatever, and drag and drop that here. You could start setting your parameters. Um, I just have a height, or yeah, I just have them both as a hundred percent height and width. And okay, yeah. And so I'm setting. I'm doing a query like on the upper or a higher level widget. So you have to go to the widget palette. Um, yep, and then you can click on this uh, back end query. Then yeah, I'll just delete to show you. Click add query, query collection, and place. And um, list of documents. Yep, and that's all. And then, so, then you'll click on the map, and then you'll set the place documents. So I'll delete this as well, just to show you. You go to place documents right here. Uh, yep. Then, this is like Arizona, I believe. And then on click marker, I'll show you, so. When you open that, it's the same exact thing as Super Base. If you watch that video, but I'm just updating page state um, whenever I click on a marker. So I'm setting that um, the row of data that that marker has to page state, which I didn't even show you how to create a page state variable. But I showed in the other video. But um, yeah, let's go back to here. Same thing. Anytime you want to add like page state or query anything, I usually go with the top level widget. But yeah. So you go to this last tab here, place. Oh, you just click add field. I give it a name of place type document and collection type is place. And yep, that's it.